Picture your business humming along in 2025, emails sorted, reports generated, customer queries answered all while you're strategizing the next big move. That's the AI agent revolution, and it's not a distant dream, it's here. As a developer or CTO, you're probably wondering how to tap into this without wrestling complex code. The answer is N8N, an open source tool that makes building AI agents feel like assembling a puzzle. I'm here to guide you step by step to create your first AI agent in N8N. Even if you're just starting out, we'll build a smart system that fetches weather data and emails it automatically a perfect blend of automation and intelligence, ready to transform how you work. Let's dive into what makes N8N your automation superpower. N8N, pronounced N8N, is like a digital conductor syncing your apps and APIs with ease. This open source workflow automation platform lets you connect tools like Gmail, Slack, or AI models using a visual drag and drop interface. No need to write endless scripts, just build workflows by linking tasks. With over 200 integrations, N8N is flexible enough for startups and robust for enterprises. Unlike Zapier, it's self-hosted, giving you full data control, which is a big win for privacy-conscious CTOs. It's beginner-friendly yet powerful, making it ideal for developers and AI entrepreneurs alike. Why is N8N such a big deal? Let's explore the benefits that make it a must-have in your toolkit. N8N saves you time and money by automating repetitive tasks tasks. From syncing data to sending notifications, it integrates with tools like Google Sheets, OpenAI, and more so you can craft anything from simple alerts to complex AI agents. Being open source, it's cost-effective and secure, letting you host it on your servers. Its visual interface means beginners can start quickly while senior developers can scale workflows for enterprise needs. Now that you're excited, let's map out how to master N8N and start building. Learning N8N is like constructing a rocket, lay the foundation, then soar. First, get comfortable with the interface your canvas for automation. Next, master nodes the tasks that form workflows. Then, play with triggers and actions to automate processes. Finally, dive into AI agents to add intelligence. We'll cover all this today, building a weather to email automation that evolves into a smart AI agent. But before we jump in, what basics do you need to know to make this journey smooth? To build AI agents, you need a quick primer, understand APIs, which fetch data like a waiter grabbing your order grasp just in the format for API responses, and know the apps you'll connect like Gmail or a weather service. You don't need to be a coding wizard, just curious enough to skim an API doc. Pro tip, try a free API like OpenWeatherMap to get a feel for it. With these basics, you're ready to understand what an AI agent is and why it's a game changer. An AI agent is like a virtual assistant with a brain. Unlike basic workflows that follow fixed steps, agents use AI models like OpenAI's GP or XAI's Grok by a custom API to think, decide, and act. Picture asking what's the weather in London and your agent fetching data, crafting a response, and emailing it to your team. Now that you know the workspace, let's create a workflow to see how it comes together. A workflow is your automation blueprint. When a daily weather report emailed to you, that's a workflow. Click new workflow and add notes to define tasks, like checking an API and sending an email. We'll build this weather to email system soon, connecting nodes to make it happen. But first, let's dive into nodes, the building blocks that power every N8N workflow. Nodes are N8N's heart. Each node is a task like sending a message or running AI. There are five types trigger nodes start workflows like a daily schedule, action nodes perform tasks like fetching API data, utility nodes clean data, code nodes add custom JavaScript, and agent nodes connect to AI models for smart decisions. You can mix and match them to automate anything. Pro tip, search nodes by app name to find them fast. Let's start with trigger nodes, which get your workflow rolling. Trigger nodes are like an alarm clock, deciding when your workflow runs. A schedule trigger fires daily at 7 a.m., perfect for our weather report. A webhook trigger Trigger catches data from forms or apps. Choose the right trigger and test it in a sandbox to avoid mistakes, like accidentally spamming emails. With a trigger in place, add action nodes to do the heavy lifting and bring our automation to life. Action nodes are the workers. Use the Gmail node to send emails, the HTTP request node for APIs, or the Slack node for messages. N8Nens library has hundreds of pre-built nodes, so you don't need to code from scratch. Authenticate apps in N8Nens credentials manager first to save time. These nodes will fetch our weather data and send the email, but how how do they work together? Let's look at a quick example to set the stage. Imagine this every morning N8N checks London's weather and emails you a report. We'll use a scheduled trigger for 7 a.m., an HTTP request node to grab data from Open Weather Map, and a Gmail node to send it. This simple setup shows how nodes combine to automate tasks. We'll build it step by step soon, but first, let's explore how nodes share data to make this flow seamless. Node pass data like teammates tossing a ball. Configure a node by mapping inputs, for example, sending weather data to an email's body. N8N's visual editor makes this easy just drag fields between nodes. Use the expressions tab for dynamic data, keeping workflows flexible. Pro tip, 
check N8 ENCE execution log if data doesn't flow right. This connectivity sets the stage for dynamic mapping, which makes your automation even smarter. Dynamic mapping lets nodes use real-time data. N8 ENCE drag and drop expressions make this intuitive, but double-check JUN paths to avoid blank outputs. Need to clean data before mapping? That's where utility nodes come in, ensuring your workflow stays tidy. Utility nodes are your data janitors. The set node filters JSON like grabbing just the temperature. The merge node combines outputs from multiple nodes. They're essential for keeping data clean and organized. If you need custom logic, code nodes let you flex your coding skills, which we'll use next to format our weather message. Code nodes allow JavaScript for custom tasks, like crafting a weather message. Good morning. They're optional, but powerful for developers. Test scripts in N8 and in Sandbox to catch bugs. Pro tip, use code nodes sparingly. N8N's built-in nodes handle most tasks. Now, let's explore agent nodes to add AI intelligence to our workflow. Agent nodes are where N8N gets exciting. They connect to AI models like OpenAI's GPT or Grok via custom API setup to make decisions. Want an agent to answer questions or summarize data? This is your node. We'll use one to upgrade our weather automation into a smart agent. But first, let's build the basic workflow to see how nodes work together. Let's create the weather to email automation, a daily report sent at 7 a.m. Start by adding a scheduled trigger set to seven o'clock in the morning daily. This ensures your workflow starts automatically. Use coordinated universal time, UTC for server time zones and test the trigger manually to confirm it fires correctly. With the trigger ready, we now need weather data. So let's set up an HTTP request node. This node will pull London's weather, but we need to format the URL correctly to make it work. Let's build that next. First, sign up for a free Open Weather Map API key and store the API key securely in N8 ENS credentials. A small warning, using the wrong key means you'll get no data, so double check everything. Now let's test the node to see what we get. Execute the node to receive JSON data uh, with London's weather, temperature, conditions, and more. If it fails, verify your URL or API key. We now need a code node to turn it into a friendly message for our email. Add a code node with the following JavaScript. Return message creates a message like, good morning, London's weather is 15 degrees Celsius sunny. Uh, test it to ensure it's working perfectly. Add a Gmail node, authenticate it using OAuth, and map the message from the code node to the email body. Set the subject line and test it by sending a message to yourself to avoid spam issues. Run the workflow to get an email that reads, good morning, London's weather is 15 degrees Celsius sunny. Activate it to run daily at seven o'clock in the morning. This is automation in action. Comment your favorite automation idea below and let's start by setting up the trigger to kick things off.